dumb, cool, and weird podcast. podcast. Well, it's, you know, <clears throat> this is what I always tell people. If you're overweight or you're obese and you think that you're healthy um, because nothing's wrong right now, doesn't mean something's not going to happen to you when you get older. If I always recommend go to your doctor and get some blood work done because the numbers don't lie with the blood work. And that's something I always preach. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to judge you based off of what you look like. I'm going to be cool with you however you are. Yeah. But if, you, if you're obese or you're overweight and you got problems, I really recommend you go and get some blood tests done because the blood work does not lie. It'll tell you how unhealthy you are. And it's just, it's, it's, it's hard science. It, 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 it's, a, it's a baseline for everything that's going on in your life. Uh, the, worst th the worst thing is like when you kind of look at celebrities who are overweight as well. Mm -hmm. Kind of like your Lizzo's, your te Tess Holiday's. Like just people who are overweight. Yeah, and, they can, you, and people it, are always like, oh, well, they clearly have to be healthy. They're moving. They're working out. Yeah, but we don't know what their blood work says. Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's the weird – that's the funny part about like someone like Lizzo, for example, where they talk about how their blood work came out good, right? And how you were saying, you might be good at this moment, but you're not good a few months down the line, a year down the line. Yeah. It's like a smoker, right? It's like, have you ever, you always have that one relative in your family who just doesn't want to quit because my the mom, my yeah, mom. Uh, but no, no, but the, the thing is that they're always like, well, doctor says I got a really healthy lungs for somebody who smoke, uh, who smokes as much as I do. Like, it's like a badge of honor. And you're like, that means he's like kind of creeped out by how well your lungs are functioning for somebody who smokes as much as you do, because he's just waiting for you to die now. Well, it's like my mom, my mom's been smoking for I think she said like 40 years, you know, Jesus. I mean, that's a long time to be smoking cigarettes and she's in relatively okay health, but <clears throat> here it is folks. She quit smoking recently. And why did she quit smoking? Because they found a couple spots on her lungs and her blood pressure is higher now and she's having trouble sleeping and they think it's all related to the smoking. I know that I, w I quit smoking over a year ago and it's been better. Yeah. So like, like Nick was saying, don't, don't just, don't think that just because there's, you know, nothing wrong now that there won't be a problem later. You know, it's the obesity. It's, you know, I mean, we're drinking alcohol right now, but I drink in moderation. I don't drink, yeah. I don't drink, I drink, I only drink like maybe once or twice a week and I only have like a couple beers, but people who abuse alcohol, like, like crazy people, alcoholics who drink every day, yeah. people who smoke cigarettes every day, people who don't exercise enough when it comes to obesity. You're going to have problems down the road. You may not have issues now, but you will have issues down the road because there's risk factors for having problems like that. It's also something that's interesting when it comes to um, a lot of men coming yeah. up with like man, like where they sort of like accept their overweightness. Yeah. Because I've been I've been down this road myself, and I've seen a lot of guys that I I know do the same thing where they say, "Oh, I'm a power lifter now," or "I'm a strong man." You know, like they've kind of accepted this part of their life, mm -hmm. and then they start eating the excess calories to lift the weight. Yeah. But they're not in any good shape. No. I mean, if you really want to like, but they compare themselves to trying to get to guys levels like Eddie Hall or some of the other strong men like Thor Bjorsen, you know, guys like that who are bigger, but when they're not in season, they're like, they've cut yeah. like Eddie Hall cut a lot of weight off because it's bad on his body after a while. Yeah. And honestly, it's it's not a good way. Like even strongman competitors and powerlifters, you know, they have to re they have to go see the doctor a lot because they got to make sure that their health is still in check. Because even if you're at their weight and you still look like you're in a better better shape than most people are, yeah, you have a lot of problems connected with that. It's like what is it? Like a lot of the uh, bodybuilders that mm -hmm. we see today with the bubble guts and everything. Yeah, they have they have health issues related to their sport altogether. If you want to check out more of our stuff, go to www.dumbcoolweird.com. You'll find our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon link if you want to support us. Also, be sure to check out our merch store. And if you're interested in being on our podcast, you can find a link on our website so you can reach out to us and tell us if you want to, if you want to talk to us about something that's really weird, dumb, or cool. We'd be glad to hear from you. Hope you'll stay tuned for the next weird-ass episodes we got. Thank you.